So here we are again. <laughs> I just made the video about these uh, wax bumper soles, uh, which are awesome. And I purchased these at the same store. They had a big uh, sale going on. They had in-store sales and they also had online sales. This is a pair of um, socks that I wanted for quite some time. I tried on a size 44 and I noticed that it was too big. So I was like, now I definitely know what size I need in this. And I got a size 43. And I'll, I'll compare the sizing to my other uh, shoe sizing uh, again. But of this size 43, I usually wear a size 44. This is just a really cool, comfortable pair of Rick Owens sneakers. So this was 70% off. This ended up like being, I think, 140. I sold the tote bag for 15. So it's like 125 for a new pair of Rick Owens Dark Shadow sneakers. These are really cool. Soles quite unique in my opinion. I think it's like the oblique. Um, so at least that's what it what it reminds me of and my girlfriend also told me a little bit of like the same sole as the uh, rick owens adidas uh sneakers um so yeah quite cool um it's really comfortable it shuts off the fabric is thick enough you don't get cold feet uh it's it's tight and high these are the high ones by the way these are you also have the like the ankle version i think um so yeah really cool pair size 43 Compared to uh, a size 42 in the Dark Shadow bumper soles, a 44 uh, in the Rick Owens Adidas Runners, a 44 in Geo Baskets, a 44 in Ramones, a 44 and two quarters in Rick Owens Adidas Mustodons, which is the first uh, model they did. Uh, in Vegan Ramones, we have a size 44 in the Rick Owens Adidas Lever Runner Highs. I got a size 44 and two quarters. And in the Rick Owens Adidas Tech Runners, I got a size 44 and two quarters as well. Um, and a 44 in these beaters. Uh, don't buy beaters. Uh, that's my only advice I have for you in 2020. So if you need more sizing information, I think there's enough comparable material right here. Um, these are perfect. I wear, I think I can wear every pair of my Rick Owens shoes with regular socks as well as with skiing socks and I always use those Surfanic skiing socks because they cover up uh, to just underneath your ankle so when you're wearing uh, three-quarter pants there's still an overlap in between sock and sneaker so you don't show skin that's what I like about the look my look uh, I don't know my look uh, whatever um, so yeah, that's why Surfanic socks are uh, always in combination with this. So I also have a little bit like room in there. I don't need a size 42 in these, I think. It's just a 43 and I can wear it with the regular socks and skiing socks just as well as uh, every other pair of my Rick Owen shoes. So more information, let me know. Let me know what you thought of the sneakers. Two new pairs, 70% off for both of them. Great. Just great. Uh, wait for your sales uh, and then you focus on what shoes you want. So. Uh, this has been a long time. This has been longer. This was more impulsive. I put them on size 42 fit and I was like, these are really, really cool. Um, just get them. And I did. So uh, new pairs. I got like 10 pairs of Rick Owens shoes right now, which is cool. I, I love just wearing Rick Owens shoes. Um, yeah, they're just great. And in comparison with sizing, I mean, these were like 70% off. <laughs> these are about a full price. Uh, I don't suggest ever buying at full price. Oh, and I also have the Rick Owens uh, Birkenstocks, which are a size 44 as well. Those are with the black fur on top, cow hair. Um, so these were 300. So this is basically the same price, these two. These two are the same price as th this one, as, as it means of what I paid for it. Um, so do I regret those other purchases then? I don't know. I paid 350 for Ramones, ridiculous. Uh, 150 for mustard oils, which is good. This was a gift. Um, I paid half. Good. Um, 125 for these used. It was also great. <laughs> 110 for these. <laughs> it's, it's really stupid. 